Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in Jenkins integrated tool of a DevOps. So that is how to automate the run a Jenkins build on every commit done to the GitHub repository. So in our previous session, we have seen how to build a Java program from the GitHub in Jenkins. So whenever we commit a change in the file, which is available in the GitHub, Again, we are supposed to follow the same procedure to build the Java application. So in this session, I'll say, so on every change that has been made in GitHub, immediately how to build the complete program automatically. So that should not be done manually. Okay, see, let us check. So I'll use a Ubuntu environment, Linux environment, and I'll show you. So in the Windows environment is also similar. First go to the Jenkins login page, login to the Jenkins and also the GitHub, right? Because we need GitHub for the file and Jenkins to create a build, okay? To run the build. So first I'll go with the Jenkins. So localhost 8080, so Jenkins, go with the username and password which you have given while the installation and configuration so this is a dashboard see and uh, this one github so login with your uh, account so this is uh, my account so i have created one repository called as a devops lab and in this DevOps lab, I have pushed uh, two files, Java, welcome, hello.java file and welcome.html file. So now how to run this hello.java from this GitHub in this Jenkins. So we can build. Okay. So how to build that one. So go with the new item. First, I'll, I'll revise the concept of the previous one. So that means how to build manually. So give the name here. So I'll give it as a demo and select the freestyle project this is a, a general purpose job so it, we can select as a freestyle project so click ok and here you can see the configure configuring of demo so this demo so in the scroll down and the source code management so the source code management we are using is a git so go to the git and paste the url of git okay here and see i'll paste it here and so if it is a private repository we are supposed to give the credentials it's not a private repository i make it as a public repository so this is a public repository so the, i i need not give the credentials here so go down and this is a master so it is a main the branch name is main see it's a main branch not a master so i am changing it as a main and coming to the build triggers so first let me uh, explain you about this how to build so click on add build setup and if it is a windows operating system go with the execute windows batch command now i'm using the ubuntu so i'm i'm using the execute shell and in order to execute the java what what are the commands we are going to use so first compilation java c hello dot java and then next uh, after that we have to run the program class file right hello so just save and you can see now if you click on build now so the file will be built okay so that means it creates an executable file which is ready for uh, deployment okay so here you can see so we got a tick mark that means a successful so click on this one and see here go to the console output so you'll be getting started by user case and it's happy. That means myself, I am uh, building this particular Java application. And here you can see, welcome to Java lab and uh, some date and time has been given here. Okay. So if you go with here, so click on this hello.java. So like this, we can build the any Java file. Okay. Any, any file from the repository in Jenkins. Now, if I am going to change the code in the repository so see so you can see hello.java i'm going with the editing option 
and here instead of giving 1849 i just want to give 1935 okay 1935 pm so i have changed this one okay commit yes just a commit so immediately after doing some sort of changes so until you rebuild this one it will not be reflected see see one so if you click this one and go with the console output still you are seeing this 1849 itself now what we have to do again we have to build now so then only the second build will be created see second which will be with updated so this is a manual right once any even a single line change is done in the repository again we have to build the project so we can go with the console output you can see 1935 now immediately whenever any programmer or any, any developer changes the file here immediately the build should be happens okay automatically so for that see just we have to go with the cha change in the configuration so select this demo uh, here you can observe the configure so click on configure okay so so you need to change here uh, go with the see build triggers in this build triggers select the Paul SEM source code management okay Paul SEM and here we you need to give this the minutes how many minutes the build should be triggered for given minutes the build should be triggered build will build will be triggered right so for that the command is star slash i will give one minute okay it, it will not be taking much more time for every one minute it will check with the repository if there are any commits that means if there are any changes automatically a new build will be done see star 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 so this is a simple command to run the build to trigger the build for every one second okay if there are any changes if there is no changes nothing will be happened if there is only changes it will be happened right so i am giving a save right so now it is two now i will change the code so unless you change the code in the repository the build will not be happens you can here you can observe 1934 and it becomes 1935 but still there will be no build okay unless you click on build now it will not generate the application so now i'll change that one right see i am changing the code here i'm giving a one more statement i'm giving the one more state statement build triggers build automatically okay i have added one more line i'm just clicking on commit changes see update hello dot java so i have done this changes okay so i have changed it. i have done the changes and see i'm not doing anything so the pointer you can observe here so for one minute there will be a third build okay so unless you so if you want to build that one manually we have to click this build now but now i am not using any option see you can observe the third pending in the quiet period expire in three seconds and you can see uh, finished waiting the third one so i have not uh, selected this build okay automatically it was coming because there is a change in this one right repository and you can observe in the console output see build automatically is, has also been added here so like this we can automate okay uh, the jenkins build on every commit done on the git repository so unless you do the changes in the repository this build will not be done okay so now it is 1936 right so if we are not changing that one so this is an updated build okay this is a build history and this is updated right latest build application so now it becomes 1937 still we are not getting any kind of build so once you change the code 
once you change the code so i'll change the time as a 1938 commit changes yes commit changes and i'll be in this page only okay so i'll be in this github only after one minute we can go with the jenkins and you can see the another build okay because there is a change in a repository automatically for every minute it will check for the any changes occurs in the repository if then the automatically it will triggers the build you can check now 1937 whenever it becomes 1938 so you'll get here okay no still we are not getting just a second so meanwhile you can uh, subscribe to our channel share our channel with your friends and keep supporting us so you can observe here so the build has been triggered for say 1938 the time 1938 automatically in 1938 it has been built you can observe here go with this one go to the console output so here you can check it's a 1938 so whatever the changes made in the file which is available in uh, local uh, remote repository that will be built here right so hope you understood this uh, simple one and uh, if you are having any doubts or if you feel any difficulty in this particular process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much